Hello and welcome to Chardelaine Makes. I'm Lorraine. So today I have some uh, hand dyed yarns to show you and a couple of almost FOs and a, wh a whip. So we will start with the almost finished objects. So I have my socks here. I still have to sew up the cuff weaving my ends and this one I haven't this one here um, I have marked off for the toe these are called pedicure socks so I put them on and I measured where I need to sew for my toe Okay, so the one thing I did that's different on these is when I was doing the heel. Okay, so here's one heel, here is the other heel. So on the second sock, I didn't have the first one handy, and I had changed the color, uh, the yarn back to the main color too soon. So, but these are just going to be for me, for around the house. So it's not going to make a difference. So that's that. Okay, and the other almost finished because I say almost finished. I still have to sew the buttons on, uh, same as my other one that I did. Um, the only thing is, I have buttons in several places and I cannot get at them right now. So here is the Christine gown I did. The, the one thing I changed on this is I was having trouble with the sleeve. The sleeve is supposed to be the same pattern as the skirt, but I was having trouble getting that to work out. So what I did was I just did, let's see if that's going to fit on the back here, uh, two rows of the trim that's on the bottom. Just kind of make it like a little uh, cap, tiny cap there. Then I'd have to sew the buttons on the back even my my few ends that I have and that will be done and ready to be up for sale. Okay. Now the yarns I did. Uh, I did 100% uh, acrylic. These are all uh, five weight yarns. Try to get these. Okay. So this is kind of a boucle type looking yarn. So I have two with this. Because these don't have as much purple in them. Oh, that one does. Okay, that's that one. Okay, so then this one is. These are more pink to light purple, very light purple. as opposed to these ones here where you can see a little bit more bluish purple. So like I said, this one is 100% acrylic. And usually most of my yarns I have two of because um, the pans that I use can only fit two without, you know, really bunching them together and then you don't get this. The color um, doesn't come out as, as as well. Okay, now these ones are 100% polyester. This is the first time I've dyed with polyester. So this was a, I don't know what I'm doing, I'll just try this type thing. So and this one's turned out a nice pink, like pastel pink. I have two of those. And then I tried um, using, actually, all of these were done using burgundy. 
and these next two I'm going to show you with the polyester I also used um, emerald green but I had I added vinegar to the water because there was still quite a bit of dye in it and it actually turned the green into blue and purple and pink One bundle. Okay, now these next two, the same burgundy and emerald green, but like I said, it didn't turn out green, it turned out purple and blue. Um, these are 75% acrylic and 25% wool. I mean, they did turn out pretty, but they didn't turn out the way I wanted them to turn out. But, experiment. Live and learn. Oh, goodness, big bunch. Okay. Now, my whip. I started, and of course, my pattern's way over there on my bed. I'm taking advantage of the fact that my husband is sleeping in the living room ever since his surgery in February. So when he comes back to bed, to the bedroom, I have to, of course, I have to clean up all this. I've got my knitting and crocheting stuff there. I have my Swift um, because I have a hank of uh, cotton that I, that I dyed up, that I've been um, using up, uh, slowly, slowly using that. So, and I have, oop, that is a bag of yarn from Michaels. So, and then when we went to the doctor's the other day, I, oh, backwards here, I used that blue bag there. And I put this whip in, which is another Kristen gown. I started on the skirt. I have to, now this is the outside, the right side, so of course I have to put these threads, ends to the inside, and then you do the sleeves after. So that's what I've got so far. Now this, I am using the Burnett Softy Baby. This is a three weight yarn. The one thing I find about this, it splits a lot. I mean a lot. But it is a nice white color, which is what I wanted. This is White Cloud. Um, the other ones that I did were Vintage. Is that this, this one? This one here, I think, is in the vintage lace yarn. This last one here is a paid pattern from Etsy. Um, can't remember the name. It's uh, Ella Rose. I think it's Ella Rose Christine gown and bonnet because there is a hat pattern along with the pattern. Um, I used, was lucky enough to win on Antoinette's, um, one of Antoinette's drawings. Antoinette is from 2OG's Hooking and St Station Island style. I will put a link to her uh, channel down in the script description box and um, you can check her out. Uh, she also does, works on a ferry in um, New Brunswick and uh, she does uh, some video from the ferry which is nice. She also does tutorials. Um, so you, you can check her out. She does, uh, she knits, crochets, and does Tunisian, along with probably some other crafts that I don't know about, but those three for sure. 
um, and she also does tutorials. So I will put, like I said, I'll put a link to her um, channel in the description box. And uh, I am planning on doing some cotton next week with the new technique, and I plan on recording that. So I'll be on the lookout for, for that video. It will be a part one and part two video um, because, like I said, I do need time for, for the yarn to dry and then show you the end results. So, but I will be recording that unless something changes, but more likely I'll be recording that uh, next week. Uh, I picked out, picked up a couple more supplies I needed for it and uh, so that'll be that. And excuse me. So, until next time, this is Lorraine from Chatelaine Makes, signing off.